Hey hello and welcome to this video. In this video series we have we have been working on AZ104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Labs that are available on the GitHub and I'll give you the link at the end of the video. Uh, we have started doing Lab 7 Manage Azure Storage. There are several different tasks. In the last video we have provisioned the lab environment already. In this video we are going to work on the task 2 which is create and configure Azure storage account so let's get to the task so in this task we're going to go to the Azure portal and select Azure accounts and then we're going to create a storage account so let's do that copy this uh, go to my Azure environment I can go to home uh, look for storage accounts and it's showed up so click on that one and I can click add to add a new storage account and we're going to configure this account the way the lab is asking us to do all right so subscription choose your subscription resource group the name of the new resource group is this so this is the resource group that I want to use so let's check quickly if I have this resource group available it's not there so they're saying RG1 is the new resource group so we just created a new resource group where we want this storage account to be there the storage account any globally unique name 3 to 24 length consisting letters and digits so uh, so let's put a store oh I need uh, letters and numbers so I cannot have this special characters so let's get rid of them get rid of them so that one should be available so yeah so that is there so is the one of four zero seven or just two okay I got that one location name on the zero where you can create so waste so let's keep it to East US most of my deployments are in there uh, performance standard then account kind is storage general purpose v1 uh, general purpose v1 interesting I usually never see anyone to use general purpose v1 this is the first time I'm seeing it that uh, in the lab people are using that one replication read access geo redundant storage so RARGS so RARGS already selected so that's good uh, click next to networking click next to networking and uh, on networking tab of the create storage player review the available options accept the default options public endpoint all networks and click advanced so here uh, public endpoint and everything default is fine all network is selected so click advanced now under the advanced review the available options accept the defaults click review and create so just review what I have security secure transfer is enabled Azure files is it's not available to me a blob soft delete right now it's disabled disabled and uh, GN2 is that option this nothing is available to me so since they're saying just go ahead and use the defaults I'm, I'm good with that and they're saying you can cre click create so I don't have to go any further so I just click that button and now validation has passed so I can create this resource for us okay uh, note the storage will be created it should take take about two minutes on the deployment blade go to go to resources display to display the Azure storage account blade on the storage account blade in the settings uh, click on configuration so let's uh, let it get deployed it shouldn't take very long and you can always click on this button right here the notification button uh, that would tell you what's going on and here the deployment is, is completed this is all showing up over here the deployment is complete so I can click either here or here to go to the resource let's click over here so that is giving me the storage account so I'm in the storage account the AZ10407 RG1 store in this storage account and here setting and configuration here under the setting I can go to the configuration button and what click upgrade to change the storage account kind to v1 to v2 that makes a lot of sense 
Uh, this account can be upgraded to a general purpose V2 account with additional features. Upgrading is permanent and will result in billing changes. But this is what you probably should you should have chosen to begin with. Type the selected account name. So what we are doing, although we chose uh, the general purpose G1, V1, and we are, we are upgrading to general purpose V2, which everybody should be using. So what we have done here, we have, so that could be exam question. If you have a general purpose V1, can you upgrade to V2? And the answer is yes, we can. Uh, on the storage account blade, review the warning stating the upgrade is permanent and will result in billing. Confirm the upgrade and type the name of the storage account and click upgrade. So we have done all that. So note you have the option to save the account kind to storage fit in the provisioning time. That's what I was telling. The previous two steps were meant to illustrate that you can you also have the option to upgrade existing general purpose V1 account. That's <laughs> exactly what I mentioned. Uh, note two. Storage V2 offers a number of features such as access steering not available in general purpose V1. There's another note, review the other configuration options including access tier default currently set to hot, which you can change the performance currently set to standard, which can be set only during account provisioning. And the identity based directory service for Azure file authentication, which requires Azure Active Directory domain services so let's let's look at so over here what they're saying access tier you can change that to cool or hot uh, the identity based access it's right now it's visible but if you want you can also use as your active directory domain services for uh, user authentication and authorization uh, here's the, some few other things are also in here uh, secure file transfer is usually enabled automatically uh, that's about it so on the storage account blade in the settings click on geo replication so under settings I have a geo replication let's go to that blade and see what they're asking to do uh, select geo redundant storage and save the change so here geo redundant storage do I have a geo redundant storage I do not have that option with me so like I cannot set anything from here uh, switch to configuration blade of storage uh, we are here settings click geo replication and note the secondary location note the secondary location where is the secondary location okay primary location this is the secondary location is the west US okay that's available Okay, click the view all link under storage endpoints. So click the view all link under storage endpoints. So click over here. So I have all of the links. And review the storage account endpoint blade. Storage account endpoint blade. primary service, service, table, ADFS, I'm just trying to see if there's anything uh, in point, in point okay, uh, they haven't told us to any copy anything uh, note as exit the storage account in points, blade contains both primary and secondary endpoints. okay, so here are the primary and here are the secondary endpoints. so that's what they are trying to say that we have uh, geo redundant so we have both primary and the secondary endpoints are available in here okay uh, switching to the configuration blade to storage account in the replication drop down list select geo redundant and save the changes switch to configuration blade of the storage account so switch to configuration blade and let's see from the replication they are saying change it to geo redundant storage and save okay all right so we are now doing this step and it says successfully updated switch back to geo redundant blade and note that the secondary location is still specified click the view all link under storage endpoints and review the storage account 
endpoints. So here, Geo Replication Blade, it says that I still have both available. Click on View All. But now you see I have only primary available to me. There is no, no secondary. Okay. So here as expected, the storage account endpoints, Blade contains only primary endpoints. So remember, if you have uh, an account with only GRS enable, you you, you only have uh, the primary location available. Uh, now what we want to do, so we are done up to step 11. Display again the configuration and then the replication drop down. Go to LRS now. Okay, so let's go back to configuration and here go to locally redundant storage and save. Just going to take a minute. Yeah, so that's done. Uh, so we have done this. Switch back to Geo Replication Blade and storage account. Display again the configuration blade and set the access layer to cool. Okay, here also if I go to Geo Replication and if I do the view all, I only have primary and you can only see the Geo Replication is available uh, for this but this time you can only see the primary location only you don't even see the secondary uh, icon for the location all right uh, so here display again the configuration blade and set the access tier to coal so configuration blade and say this storage account is not going to be accessed very frequently so we set it to coal and we save and that's about all that we needed to do in this particular section of the lab. So we have created one storage account. We started with a general purpose P1 account. This is really not used anymore and you should not be using. We only created to show that you have an upgrade option where you can upgrade your storage from V1 to V2. Once it's there we have reviewed the different uh, geo replication options uh, and and we reviewed what uh, what kind of features are available under GRS blade and uh, under under LRS blade and under the other one which is the read access RGRS mode Okay, on the RAGIS mode is the only one where you have uh, both primary and secondary endpoints available to you. These two, they are not. Alright, and you can also set the uh, access tiers from the config configuration blade of the storage account. Alright, that is the end of this particular section of the video. In the next video, we'll start working on the blob storage and I hope to see you there. If you like the video, give me a like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Good luck with the exam.